And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Assuredly, I say to you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And so we see here that the practice as established by the Lord with his apostles was to take bread. And this was more like the type of bread they uh, took, unleavened bread, and break it. And then they passed it around. And they each ate the morsel of bread. And we do this in the remembrance of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ's body on the cross, which was in fact uh, done for our sake and for our sins, to cover our, uh, our sins, for the remission of our sins. And then, he took a cup, I will have this little bottle, and um, this is grape juice, not um, not actual um, wine. It was the fruit of the vine. And he took it around and he passed it. And they drank of it. Not quite as good as Jesus' blood, but almost. <laughs> good stuff. And Jesus himself said that this was the blood that he shed for uh, the new covenant, to establish the new covenant. Because blood in the Jewish law provides for remission of sins, or forgiveness, atonement of sins. And Jesus' blood being a perfect uh, uh, atonement uh, provides for a perpetual propitiation of our sins before God so that we are covered by his blood and he no longer sees us as sinners as long as we have repented and we have put faith in this sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the new covenant and have been baptized in water and spirit, have been asked for the Holy Spirit and received it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and so at this point, uh, we have commemorated or remembered, memorialized the Lord's Supper, a very simple but very significant um, memorial to what the greatest man that ever walked the earth did for us, which was save us from eternal damnation in a place that has come to be called hell, where um, human beings are lost and souls are lost forever. By Jesus Christ, we know that we will be in paradise with God forever and that we will have eternal happiness and bliss and fulfillment and redemption uh, and only by Jesus Christ. So I encourage you, if you have not uh, uh, looked to Jesus uh, and repented of your personal sinful nature uh, and uh, recognized that you have one, even, <laughs> which many haven't, unfortunately, in the world we live in, uh, that you um, start uh, coming to terms with that and start looking into uh, that reality that you, like me, and like everyone that has ever walked this earth uh, outside of Jesus Christ, uh, is uh, a sinner by nature and falls short of what God planned for humanity. Uh, and uh, only through Jesus Christ will we be able to be born again uh, in spirit, and one day in a new creation body uh, that will allow us through the resurrection of Christ uh, to be whole again the way God intended to live. Um, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. And uh, we'll uh, sing a short hymn now.